What is up everybody, my name is Justin French, covering music for those who care, and right now I'm taking a look at the second studio album from Waterparks, this one is entitled Entertainment. So, Waterparks is a band from Houston, Texas, which is kind of an area close to where I'm from if I visit Texas. And I kind of got into Waterparks because reviewers ARTV and Infinity on Hannah kind of talked about these albums, so I thought, you know, why not give it a try? And I do have to say, I was pretty pleased with the result. I really enjoy majority of that album, including the song Stupid For You, which was a pretty good single off of that record. Now, going into this one, I was kind of wondering if they were kind of going to go for more of a pop punk kind of styling on this record, or were they going to go for more experimentation with their sound on this one? And I do see on this record, the difference between this one and... Double Dare is, I feel like this one is a bit more poppier than that album. The first single that we got off of this record was Blonde, and I have to say, it's a pretty catchy pop-punk song that has a bunch of sing-along lyrics, and I really enjoy the kind of pop-punk edge in the guitar riffs that play throughout the track. For those of you who expected the band to kind of go back and do the same pop-punk styling as they did with Double Dare, I think you're going to be a little bit disappointed on this release just because it's more pop friendly honestly in my opinion but there is some songs that kind of retain that style from the last album such as 1111 tantrum and even blonde this album does also experiment into pop and pop rock territory on tracks such as peach lobotomy which has some nice whistling and i kind of like the acoustics that opens this track up and then you have not warriors which is a promotional single for this record and i kind of like the more electronic sound that this song has going for it and then you have we need to talk which is probably my least favorite on this album along with lucky people i kind of feel like that one is just kind of boring and generic it's okay for an acoustic track but eh. and then we need to talk the only thing that's turning me off from that track is just the lyrics on that thing are very very cheesy as you can see over here during the recording sessions of this record, Austin Knight, the band's lead singer and one of the guitarists of the group, had suffered through a breakup, and you could definitely see that this album kind of reflects on that on tracks such as 1111, the opening song on this album, along with tracks such as We Need to Talk, which is, of course, the cheesiest song that is on this record lyrically, and then other songs such as the closing ones, Sleep Alone, which is the album's closer, and Crybaby. So overall, I do like that the band is kind of experimenting with their sound, and that's one thing I can always appreciate with a group. Whenever a band or an artist kind of wants to kind of push more boundaries, pretty much. Do I think that on this record it works most of the time? I don't think it works all the time, but it does work in majority of places. Like adding the synthesizers into the tracks, I think that's a pretty nice touch to this record. And it feels a bit more poppy, so anyone expecting more of the pop-punk sound from Double Dare, I think you're going to be a little bit disappointed, but overall, I really enjoyed this album, believe it or not. So, my rating on this is most likely going to be a 7.5 out of 10. So anyways, thank you all for watching this video. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, you can click right over here to catch up on more content or watch another video. If you want to see the last video I did, you can click up there to catch up on that. So anyways, thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed, and hope to see you soon.